Hey everyone, Justin Russell with RussellMarineProducts.com here to show you today the Power Pole Series 2 light. Now this is a light, unlike the blade, that's going to mount onto the back of the knuckle. It'll fit on any Pro Series, Pro Series 2, Sportsman's, Johnny Signature Series. So basically any Power Pole besides the Blade Series, as you know we've already got the Blade light that mounts to the front. This one's going to mount right here to the back. So we're using the existing spike holes and bolts. So it's got a replacement bolt set that comes in and uses the existing hole. So first things first is we're going to let this power pull down so we can have access, pull the bolts out, and start rigging this thing up. So let me go let it down. Next we're going to take the two spike bolts out. I think they're a size 11 millimeter if I remember correctly. Save the washer and save the nylon nut because you'll use those on the replacements. take a drill bit. I believe this one here is a metric number six. But the point being on this side of the power pole, depending on which way you have it mounted, if you got a port mount or a starver mount, this boat has a single port side mount, we're going to take the R in power and drill a hole through it. Now that's what's going to be able to run our wiring on the inside. So again, the R in power, we're going to take our drill bit and just drill a hole right there. Alright, now that right there is going to make sure we have access to get our wiring in place to pull our wiring down to run it inside the boat. So next we'll actually be able to run the wiring in and actually mount the power pull light itself. Now just like the Blade Series light, on the inside of this light there's a little channel right here in the plastic housing. That's where we're going to run our wires through the channeling to come and have access onto the actual power pole mount itself. So we'll run our wire in there, pull it in place, line up the holes, and there we go. Now we're just going to replace the bolts. Again, we've got a new set of bolts that comes in there. You're going to use the same nylon washer wing or nylon washer nuts that are on there. So we're just going to grab those new bolts and put it. take our fish tape and we're actually going to run it up through the exit part of the power pole here. So what I'm going to do is run it backwards down this way. Make sure we have access for everything. Make sure it's very simple to get our tape through. Run our wires above the hydraulic ram so that way we don't worry about getting them pinched. Now, in this video, I do not have them because we were out, but in the packaging, we will have zip die keepers that are the double stick back tape to be able to use to keep your wires up out of the way. So there'll be two of those in the packaging as well too. Apologize, we don't have them for this video, but we will have them nonetheless. And we're gonna run our wiring actually through this portion of the tube once we get it through right here. So I may be able to get it without using the fish tape. Let me see here. 
All right, as you can see, we've got our fish tape actually run into the boat now. So what I'm going to do is actually just take a little bit of electrical tape, cover these up. That way we can actually pull it into the boat and get it to where we need it, which what we're looking for is to get it all the way over to where the rear nav light receptacle is on the back of the boat. This one happens to be a ranger, so it's right at the stern, I know. Some of the skeeters and stuff are actually off a little more to the side than being directly into the back, but nonetheless, we're just trying to gain access to the rear light receptacle or the anchor light receptacle. So, work on pulling that through a little bit. Here's our receptacle, so I'm going to take this off real quick. And once we get all our wiring run in there, we will show you how to splice into the rear receptacle. Now, I like to splice into it so you can still utilize that if you want. Um, some customers that have been running our prototypes actually completely eliminate it. So that's just for pretty looks. Not really having any use, so. All right, there's that. Oh, I may have to jump back in the boat for that one. Splice in. Now each power pull blade and pro series and Minn Kota Talon rear anchor light comes with 10 feet of wiring which is usually enough for most applications. So you may actually have to splice on. What I encourage you though, what we designed the 10 feet of wiring for, we did not want any splices being outside of the boat. We want all the wire splicing to be done, if possible, internally on the inside of the boat. Now again, it depends on how far away from where your power pole or your talons located, where your anchor receptacle is located at. So that can throw a few things off too. So done with the fish tape, throw that out of our way. Now we're gonna bring our wiring up straight up through the bottom receptacle here on the back side. And now I can close that. So as you can see, we also did the color coordinating to try to match up with what the lights are already. So the receptacle, for example, has a black and white wire. If you notice our wiring that comes off of all our rear anchor lights for the shallow water anchors is also black and white. Ground, black, white is power. So we're gonna cut these and splice on two connectors here.
Now what I'm doing is I'm just fusing the, ta uh, the power pull light wiring together with the receptacle light wire. I'm just wrapping it around. Got a connector here. I'm gonna crimp that on. And then we're actually gonna tie it to the actual receptacle now. So again, black to black, white to white. I like to zip tie all the extra wires up so it's nice and pretty on the inside here. I don't like a lot of loose stuff out of every workload, especially in the back by the battery compartment where you're liable to get it caught on something and broken or pulled. So, Got a couple zip ties in there. that in place. Now we've already got the power switch turned on on the boat. So what I'll do is I'll run up and I'll hit our nav light. And our light should light up. So pretty simple. I think it took us on five or six minutes. This video isn't that long, but nonetheless, pretty simple for your do-it-yourselfers. You do have to make one drill hole on this one, so we'll check it out. There it is. Pro Series Anchor Light by Russell Marine Products. Check it out, russellmarineproducts.com. Find this light on there. Retails for 